Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about important example problem on principle of inclusion and exclusion in discrete mathematics course and MFCS course. The given problem is how many integer solutions are possible for a plus b plus c is equal to 11 where a less than or equal to 3, b less than or equal to 4 and c less than or equal to 6. The given equation is a plus b plus c is equal to 11. First of all, we have to find out the total number of possible solutions. Okay. Total number of possible solutions. Solutions that can be denoted by capital N is equal to. Here we have to use combinations with repetition formula. Why we are using combinations with the repetition formula? Here the given equation is a plus b plus c is equal to 11. We have to find out the possible combination of a, b and c values whose sum is equal to 11. Okay. We have to find out the possible number of possible combinations of A, B and C whose sum is equal to 11. For that purpose, we have to use combinations with repetition formula to find out the total number of possible solutions N. The formula is N plus R minus 1 C R. This is the formula. So in that formula, what is n value? n value is nothing but the number of terms in the equation on the left hand side. On the left hand side, how many number of terms are there? A is one term, B is another term, C is another term. So that is a three terms. That is nothing but three variables are there on the left hand side of the equation. Therefore, n is equal to 3. And what is r value? r is nothing but left hand side, whatever the number is there, that number can be treated as r value. r is equal to 11. Once we are getting n value and r value, we have to substitute in this equation. So, our n value is 3, r value is 11. Minus 1, C, 11. So, this value is 3 plus 11, 14, 14 minus 1, that is 13, 13, C, 11. So, what is the formula for 13, C, 11? So, we already know that N, C, R is equal to N factorial divided by R factorial into n minus r factorial. This is the formula we have to use for finding out ncr. According to that one, so 13 factorial, that is n factorial by r factorial. r is nothing but 11 factorial into 13 minus 11 factorial. So that is equal to 13 factorial divided by 11 factorial into 2 factorial. So, 13 factorial can be written as 13 into 12 into 11 factorial divided by 11 factorial into 2 factorial is nothing but 2. Now, this 11 factorial, this 11 factorial is cancelled and 2, 6 times it goes to 12 
13 into 6 that is equal to 78. So the total number of possible solutions is equal to 78. Okay. Now we can go for C1 is nothing but solutions when A greater than or equal to 4. Here a less than or equal to 3. Now we have to find out whenever a greater than or equal to 4, how many number of solutions are possible. Next one, C2 solutions when b greater than or equal to 5. Here in that problem b less than or equal to 4 is given. Now we have to find out how many number of solutions are possible when b greater than or equal to 5. Next one, C3 solutions when c less than or equal to 6. c sorry c greater than or equal to 7. In the problem given c less than or equal to 6, we have to find out possible number of solutions when c greater than or equal to 7. Okay. So, c1, c2, c3 are we have to find out the possible solutions whenever a greater than or equal to 4, b greater than or equal to 5 and c greater than or equal to 7 respectively. Once we are finding out these solutions, from the total solutions, we have to subtract these solutions. Then we are getting the possible solutions for this given problem. Okay. Next, we have to find out how many number of possible solutions we are getting whenever a greater than or equal to 4. So that can be denoted by n of c1, n of c1, n of c1 possible number of solutions we are getting when a greater than or equal to 4. Okay. So, we have to find out new R value. We have to find out new R value. How we are finding out new R value? Here, a plus b plus c is equal to 11. Here, a is at least greater than or equal to 4, we have to find out the possible solutions. For that one, subtract 4 on both sides of the equation. So, A is at least 4. So, that means A, A contains 4, A contains 5, A contains 6, A contains 7. So, in this way, we have to subtract minus 4 from A plus B plus C and right hand side we have to subtract 4. So then we are getting a minus 4 plus b plus c is equal to 7. So this is the new r value. So r value is equal to 7 and n value is equal to 3. Now we have to substitute in this formula. n value is 3 means 3 plus same formula we have to use 3 plus R value is 7 minus 1 C 7. So here 3 plus 7 10, 10 minus 1 9, 9 C 7. Here 9 factorial divided by 7 factorial into 9 minus 7 factorial that is 2 factorial. So this can be written as 9 into 8 into 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial into 2. 7 factorial, 7 factorial cancel 2, 4 times 8. So that is we are getting possible number of solutions is equal to 36. And C1 value is 36. Now we have to find out NC2 value n c2 value. We have to find out the possible number of solutions whenever b is at least 5. Okay. So, here now we have to find out r value. 
a plus b plus c is equal to 11 whenever b is at least 5 b may contain b value 5 b value 6 b value 7 b value 8 etc so that we have to subtract 5 on both sides so a plus b minus 5 plus c is equal to 11 minus 5 so then what we are getting a plus b minus 5 plus c is equal to 11 minus 5 that is a 6. So this is the new r value r value 6 and n value is equal to 3. Now we have to substitute in this formula n value is a 3 and r value is a 6 minus 1 c 6. So 3 plus 6 9 9 minus 1 8 8 c 6. So here 8 factorial divided by 6 factorial into 8 minus 6 factorial that is a 2 factorial. So this can be written as 8 into 7 into 6 factorial divided by 6 factorial into 2, 2, 2 factorial value is 2. So 6 factorial, 6 factorial cancel, 2, 4 times 8. So 4 into 7, that is 28 possible solutions we are getting whenever B greater than or equal to 5. Next, we have to find out the solutions whenever C greater than or equal to 7. That can be denoted by N of C3. N of C3, now we have to find out R value. So here, A plus B plus C is equal to 11. Now we have to find out possible number of solutions when C greater than or equal to 7. That means C is at least 7. C may contain 7, C may contain 8, C may contain 9, etc. So that we have to subtract 7 on both sides. A plus B plus C minus 7 that is equal to 11 minus 7. So that is a plus b plus c minus 7 is equal to 4. Okay. So therefore, r value is equal to 4. And n value is equal to 3. Now we have to substitute in this formula n value 3, r value 4, minus 1, c r value 4. So that is equal to 3 plus 4, 7, 7 minus 1, 6, 6 C 4. So we are getting 6 factorial by 4 factorial into 6 minus 4, that is a 2 factorial. So here 6 into 5 into 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 2 factorial. Here 4 factorial, 4 factorial cancel, 2 factorial value is a 2. 2 into 3, so that is a 6, that is equal to 15. So, possible number of solutions we are getting whenever C greater than or equal to 7, so we are getting 15. Okay. Next, we have to find out the possible combinations for C1, C2, C2, C3, C1, C3. So that is N of C1, C2. So possible number of, possible number of solutions when we are getting whenever A greater than or equal to 4 and B greater than or equal to 5. 
so for that one we have to find out the r value okay so here a plus b plus c is equal to 11 here a is at least 4 and b is at least 5 for that one we have to find out the possible number of solutions so subtract 4 from a and subtract 5 from b plus c is equal to 11 right hand side we are also subtracting 4 plus 5 okay so then we are getting 11 minus 9 that is equal to 2 so therefore r value is equal to 2 new r value and n value is equal to 3 we have to subtract 4 from a and 5 from b and right hand side also we have to subtract 4 plus 5 that is a 9 okay so then the formula is n plus n means 3 r means 2 n plus r minus 1 c r r value is 2 so then we are getting 3 plus 2 5 5 minus 1 that is 4 4 c 2 we are already know that 4 c 2 value is a 6 4 factorial by 2 factorial into 4 minus 2 factorial okay next next we have to find out the possible number of solutions when we are getting c2 c3 n of c2 c3 so what is the new r value we are getting so here a plus b plus c is equal to 11 now uh, b is at least 5 and c is at least 7 so that we have to subtract 5 and 7 on both sides so here a plus b minus 5 and c minus 7 is equal to 11 here 11 minus 5 plus 7 so then we are getting 11 minus 12 so that 11 minus 12 so it is not possible so whenever the solution is not possible so r value we do not know so that n of c2 c3 value can be considered as g2 next we have to find out the n of c1 c3 possible number of solutions we are getting whenever a is at least 4 and c is at least 7 now we have to find out the r value so here a plus b plus c is equal to 11 a is at least 4 so we have to subtract 4 from a plus b c is at least 7 we have to subtract 7 from c right hand side we have to subtract 4 plus 7 so then we are getting 11 minus 11 that is equal to 0 now we are getting r value is 0 and n value is 3 so we have to substitute n value is 3 plus r value is 0 minus 1 c r value is 0 so we are getting 3 plus 0 minus 1 that is 2 2 c 0 2 c 0 value is 1 okay next we have to find out the combination of c1 c2 c3 so that means n of c1 c2 c3 is equal to first we have to find out the r value so a plus b plus c is equal to 11 now we have to find out a is at least 4 b is at least 5 c is at least 7 so that a minus 4 plus b minus 5 plus c minus 7 is equal to 11 minus 4 plus 5 plus 7 subtract 4 5 and 7 right hand side so we are getting 11 minus 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 7 16 so we are getting some negative value so it is not solution not possible solution not possible whenever we are getting the negative value we can say that solution not possible so r is not defined whenever r is not defined 
it is not possible to calculate this one. This value can be considered as 0. Okay. So next, here C1 is nothing but solutions for A is at least 4. A is at least 4. Then C1 bar is nothing but A less than or equal to 3. Okay. Next, C2 is nothing but we have to find out the solutions for B is at least 5. That means B greater than or equal to 5. Now we have to find out find out the solutions whenever B is less than or equal to 4. It becomes C2 bar. C2 bar is B less than or equal to 4. Next one, solutions for finding out whenever C is at least 7. C greater than or equal to 7. But C3 bar becomes C less than or equal to 6. Now we have to find out these values. Okay. So for number of possible solutions we are getting whenever C1 bar, C2 bar, C3 bar values. So that is C1 bar, C2 bar, C3 bar if a is less than or equal to 3, B is less than or equal to 4, C is less than or equal to 6. Here the formula is possible number of solutions N minus N of C1 plus N of C2 plus N of C3 plus N of C1, C2 plus n of c2 c3 plus n of c1 c3 minus n of c1 c2 c3 so this is the formula for finding out the possible number of solutions when a less than or equal to 3 b less than or equal to 4 and c less than or equal to 7 so here n of c1 bar C2 bar, C3 bar is equal to N value, we are already find out 78 minus N of C1, N of C1 value is 36, N of C2 value is 28 and N of C3 value is 15 plus N of C1, C2 value is 6, N of C2, C3 value is 0, N of C1, C3 value is 1 minus n of c1 c2 c3 value is 0 now 78 minus 36 plus 28 64 64 plus 15 that is a 79 plus 6 plus 1 is 7 minus 0 so 78 minus 79 minus 1 minus 1 plus 7 that is a 6 6 minus 0 is 6 so Therefore, possible number of solution, possible number of solutions is equal to 6 for A plus B plus C is equal to 11, where A less than or equal to 3, B less than or equal to 4 and C less than or equal to 6. So this is the answer. So in this way, we have to find out the solution for this given problem. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you really like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. So Divvela Srinivasarao. Thanks. Thank you for watching this video.